I am Dr. Angela Bello Bala. You are welcome to GST 104, the use of library. I'll be taking you through module two, unit four, open educational resources. The need for this module or rather units is because there's lack of fund. And this has been a major challenge to students undergoing research in most institutions. As a researcher, you may not need to buy books or even subscribe to any database if you know what to do. There are some digitized materials offered freely and openly for educators, students and self-learners to use and reuse for teaching, for learning and research known as open educational resources. This will be given full attention in this unit. What are open educational resources? These are resources that are, that are openly provided. These are, I, let me de give a definition by Johnston 2005. He defined open educational resources as the open provision of educational resources enabled by information and communication technologies for consultation, use, and adaptation by a community of users for non-commercial purposes. Open educational resources is commonly referred to as digitized materials offered freely and openly for educators, students, and self-learners to use and reuse for teaching, for learning, and for research. Let's look at some open some list of open educational resources. The ones listed here have full open access. You will be seeing them in the next slide. However, some journals have delayed open access, while some are hybrid open access. Delayed open access journals are traditional subscription-based journals that provide free online access upon the expiry of an embargo period following the initial publication date. A hybrid open access journal is a subscription-based journal in which some of the articles offer open access. Now looking at the list, for example, in the field of economics, you have Journal of Agricultural and Applied Economics, you have Economics itself, Real, World Economics Review, Theoretical Economics, and under education, you have the list. Please kindly refer to your courseware for a more comprehensive list in other fields. Open access repository. What is a repository? It's a collection of research outputs with the aim of making them available to the public for free. There are two types of repository. The subject-specific repository and the institutional repository. Yeah, the subjects a specific repository, they are specific repository that are based on discipline. Why the institutional ones are based from institutions of the federations. Lists of repositories, you have them on um, display, even as you can see on the slides. Please kindly again refer to your courseware for a comprehensive Thank you for listening.